Even though the Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan has disappeared largely from the front pages of newspapers, at least here in the United States, the crisis still continues and is apparently, in fact, worsening. Here's what a special witness at the Diet, the Japanese parliament, said at the end of July on new radiation measurements. My team at the Radioisotope Center took it upon ourselves to measure and calculate the total amount of radioactive contamination using all of our expertise on the subject, and found the total amount of leakage to be about 29.6 times the amount of contamination caused by the nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Assuming the source material to be uranium, we think the total amount of leakage is about 20 times the contamination caused by the Hiroshima bomb. There were also reports that the ground under the crippled nuclear facility is beginning to crack as the nuclear core is melting down into it. And deadly radioactive steam might be now spewing from those cracks, further hampering efforts to contain the crisis. As one unnamed Fukushima worker emailed to a friend earlier this month, a lot of the cracks came up in the ground. Massive steam is coming up from there. It's too smoggy here, can't see a thing. It seems like a nuclear reaction is happening underground. Now we are evac evacuating. Watch out for the direction of wind. So what exactly is going on there? And why the media blackout on this increasingly severe nuclear disaster? Here to offer some answers is Paul Gunter, director of the Re Reactor Oversight Project at Beyond Nuclear. Paul, welcome back. Thanks again for having us, Tom. Um, it's, it's, I, it's, I appreciate your being here. I, it's, it's a shame, though, that this is just continuing. Uh, 160 it, it, days now. Yeah. Uh, in fact, that, that clip that we just played of the guy in the diet uh, testifying was sent to me by a dear friend of mine who's Japanese and lives in Tokyo. He's, they're really starting to get worried. I mean, this, this uh, uh, cracks at the plant, radioactive steam coming out of the earth, uh, that sounds an awful lot like, and my knowledge of this is limited to having seen the Jane Fonda movie, but that sounds a lot like the China syndrome, the core melting down through the earth and hitting the water table. Right. That's, that's clearly a concern that we've had all along that uh, we know now that the, there have been three meltdowns at the reactors uh, at this six unit site and that uh, the vessel has failed. Uh, now what seems to be the situation is that, is that this corium, this melted reactor uh, core has burned through the concrete floor of the reactor building or buildings and has now uh, burned into the uh, earth and reaching groundwater is creating steam and uh, what the readings we're seeing uh, now suggests that it's off scale for the um, instrumentation that's being used by workers, which is 10 sieverts per hour. Uh, so right now, it looks like the... Just 10,000 millisieverts. It's, uh, it's 1 million um, uh, millirem. It's uh, 500, so 500 rem is a lethal dose. This is 1,000 rem coming out of these cracks. So we're seeing, um, you know, doses that could cause fatalities within Let's days. Just, just put this in a context that people understand. You said it's a million millirems. How many millirems is, uh, say, a, a dental x-ray or a chest well, x-ray? Well, the USNRC, uh, the permissible dose for the public is 100 miller, uh, millirem per year. This is one, millirem, one million millirem per hour. Wow. So these are lethal doses that are coming up out of the ground. So, you know, they've been uh, looking to contain this accident by building uh, tents over the reactor units, which is kind of ludicrous in and of itself and shows the desperation measures that well, are now it, being it, employed. But now it's coming up out of the ground through cracks around the facility. So the, um, the accident is now you know, clearly much more seriously out of control than they're willing to admit. It's escaped into the wild, essentially. Absolutely. And, you know, we were involved in a NRC, U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, hearing on July 28th of this year, where the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission uh, basically admitted that, the, that fuel fragments found over one and a half miles away from the facility uh, did not come from explosions from the fuel pool, from those spent fuel pools up on top of the reactor buildings that we've been talking about. These were fuel, according to the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, those fuel fragments were ejected from the reactor cores in those explosions. Wow. So, so the cores the, were breached immediately. 
That seems to be the concern right now. And, uh, you know, we're, we continue to see stories about um, aerosolized radioactivity turning up on the West Coast. Uh, clear, the, I think the most this, recent story the is... The Los Angeles in, Times. Absolutely. The, the headline, radioactive isotope maybe from Fukushima detected. It's radioactive absolutely. Uh, and, sulfur, which is the right. breakdown product of, of uh, uh, chlorine. Yeah, from seawater being poured onto those reactors right. in those early days. Found in La, in La Jolla, California. Yes, and so again, the problem is, is that, as we pointed out on our very first interview with you, that the first thing to be controlled in these nuclear accidents is the information. And now, 160 days after, into this accident, and still worsening, we still see that the information is being withheld. Uh, it, that there's an incredible lag time, months before we really understand and, the and yet situation. This, this fellow uh, who testified before the Diet said 20 to 29 times more radiation has been emitted from Fukushima than the Hiroshima bomb. I mean, this horrified the Japanese, made the Japanese press. This was a big deal in Japan. I didn't see it mentioned in a single newspaper in the United States. Right. Is, so is the blackout um, here, there, or in both places? It's a global nuclear industry that can control the airwaves, the media, and it, you know, really, we're, we're really dependent upon indie media right now, like your program, like what's on uh, the blogs, what's uh, coming up on YouTube. Uh, you know, this is where news on Fukushima breaks first. Wow. The, uh, just, just to clarify, in, in the last minute we have here, um, in, a, in a China syndrome like we're apparently seeing right now in Fukushima, the nuclear reactor, the nuclear core melts through the, through the reactor vessel, melts through the cement underneath it, melts into the ground and if it was in say Nevada it would be no big deal it would end up in the dirt someplace buried forever but if it hits a water table it explodes out isn't it true that pretty much every nuclear power plant in America or in the world for that matter is built right next to water so there's a low water table because they use it right. to cool a plant I mean, isn't this like a, an inherently insane system it's certainly inherently dangerous and once it's out of control, the consequences are unacceptable. Um, you know, the big concern right now is that we don't really know, because we don't have reliable information on how hot that corium material, that melted core is. Uh, if it's hot enough, it can uh, separate out the elemental forms of water, hydrogen and oxygen, and, and that creates an underground explosive environment. Wow. Paul, thanks so much for yeah, being no with nukes. Us. Yeah, there you go. While the rest of the media ignores Fukushima, we'll keep an eye on it and bring you the latest news on this global tragedy. The China Syndrome. It's about people, people who lie, and people faced with the agony of telling the truth. Right. People like Kimberly Wells, a television reporter paid to smile, not to think. A few words about a veterinarian who makes house calls on sick fish. Or is it aquarium calls? Richard Adams, a cameraman who never learned how to play by the rules. Wait till you get that other room, get that radiation all over that cute little body. Jack Goodell, an engineer who knows too much to tell the truth. In anything that man ever does, there's some element of risk, right? Well, that's why we have what we call defense in depth. And cares too much to lie. No accident. It will start with a tremor in a nuclear power plant. Where it will end will depend on three people. I would say you're probably lucky to be alive. Same for the rest of Southern California. Jane Fonda. Let's face it, you didn't get this job because of your investigative abilities. Kimberly, don't fight it. Jack Lemmon. There was a vibration. Michael Douglas. I don't know that accident is the right word. Accident is the right word. The China Syndrome. The harder they try, the more resistance they meet. They've got their own security men. Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you want me to make it any clearer? The closer they get, no. the more threatening it becomes. No. The China no. Syndrome. No. Today, only a handful of people know what it really means. And they're scared. Everybody keep your strength! Everybody keep your strength! Soon, you will know. The China Syndrome.